Hey people, this is Sharpena here, welcome you guys to episode number 9 of the Pokemon Shield and Sword Let's Play. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure to like button down below for us, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In this episode, you guys, we did make our way over to past Turfield Stadium, we did win our first gym badge, but last episode, we really didn't get a lot done, we did go ahead and get ourselves the bike, which is actually going to help us out quite a bit in this adventure. Now, I must point out a few things. While uh, I did the last episode, um, I did do some off-screen raids to go ahead and try to get my Pokedex completed. So I'm going to change the way I play this Let's Play just a little bit. So we're still going to be playing this game as per normal, but I'll be trying to capture pretty much every single Pokemon as we go through each route. So I can try to go ahead and get the complete Pokedex, because you've got to catch the ball, am I right? That's how we want to do it. So let's go ahead and have a, do a team recap for you guys over here. So we have Chomper the Tootle, Tina the Yamper, Furnace the Carcoal, Slash the Galarian Lion Loon that evolved the last episode, uh, Bangalow the uh, Thwacky, and Yatagarasu the Corvus Squire. Righto, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the episode. Now, I must also point out, since I did a lot of raids, uh, let me go show you how many raids I have done. Because, look at all these TRs that I have over here, like, yeah, quite a bit. Poison Jab, Tri-Attacks, Waterfalls, we have a whole bunch of them. And sadly, even though these are really good TMs, not a lot of people can learn some of these TMs, which is very disappointing. Because, I mean, some of them are pretty darn good. We can learn Seed Bomb, we can teach that to Slash, you know what? I feel like we're going to teach it to Slash. We'll go ahead and get rid of uh, Pin Missile, and we'll go ahead and teach it Seed Bomb, because why not? It's such a great move. And I figured I would try to go ahead, and it broke. Oh, dear. And then a headbutt, no, Scold. Furnace can learn Scold? Okay, hell, I'll give it a go. I don't even know, it's a Fire Rock type. Why on earth will you learn Scold? Um, okay, we'll get rid of Rabbit Spin, we'll go ahead and teach it Scold, because why the fuck not, hey guys? Why the fuck not? Alright, so now it knows Scold. Uh, drill Run, no one can learn. Play Rough. Tina can learn Play Rough. Um, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and teach it Play Rough. Why the hell not? Because if it can learn that, it'll be definitely a good move to have on Tina. Because it's only got a spark with this. It's one best move. I didn't think this was going to become a huge TM teaching system. Dazzling Gleam. Body Press. So it's base 80. The higher the user's defense, the more damage it can inflict on its user. Huh. And it's a fighting type move. Base 80 damage though. X scissor and low kick. You know what, we'll take Bangalow low kick just because it needs another move set over here. Branch pokes base 40. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. We'll just use Screech. So, you know. Awesome. So we kind of start things off with a bit of a TM teaching session, but it's all good guys. Oh, there's an item over here. A health feather. It slightly boosts the HP. Oh, so this is like the bridge on, um, on in Unova where you can find feathers. Let's see if we can find more feathers. Oh, there's a one right there. A muscle feather can boost attack. Cool. Is there another one there? A pretty feather. Huh, okay. Oh, and here's Hop. Hello, Hop. There you are, Sharpino. I'm warning you, though, any closer than that, and we're going to have a battle, you and me. Um, let's battle, bitch. I warned you, we're both gym challengers who've earned ourselves a grass badge. This is the perfect training. Let's go, woo! Let's go, Chomper. Let's have a taste of what a gym badge holder's team can do. Okay, let's have a taste, eh? Let's go for a headbutt. We have speed. Ooh, damn. I can actually learn double kick? Yikes. 
So I guess a uh, question for today that I could ask you guys is, um, let's see here, what is a good question I can ask you guys? I've seen a lot of shiny Pokemon, I've actually talked about this before. Okay, um, let's talk about how are you guys going with completing the Pokedex, because, you know, I've told you guys how I want to complete the Pokedex, and the reason why I want to complete the Pokedex is obviously so I can have a complete dex and I can get myself the shiny charm. Because I want to try to go ahead and get my shield game, um, you know, completed. And there's actually another reason why. Because, like, um, my sword game, the reason why I'm not completing my sword game, there's a reason behind that. I won't tell you guys about this right away, but I will definitely tell you guys in the future why I plan on doing that. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So, down goes Wooloo. And Tina's level 22. And Bangalore's level 22. Alright. Corvus Squire. Oh, you know what? Tina will be the perfect Pokemon for this one. Alright, let's go ahead and use a Spark. It actually has speed to get some Fury attack. It gets a critical... Man, come on, man. I will say, I do like Fury Attack's animation this one. It definitely has more life to it than just the old Toodle arrows. Typical, you should have known you've mastered type matchups. Um, yeah, thanks for the heads up. Pluck. Down goes the Call of the Squire. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! And Furnace is level 22. Once it's out, a... A Drizzle? That sounds like a water type. Everyone in my Pokemon is an ace. This is no problem at all. Uh, what's Drizzle? Or Drizzile? Oh, it's the evolved form of, uh, Sobble. Oh! Oh, okay. Round. Did this try to throw a water bomb at me? <laughs> Wow, we did some good damage though. You know what? Let's go ahead and bring in Thwacky. We've got to have a starter v starter. If I knew that was the starter, I would have definitely put my starter in. Man, it looks like he's got some special attack on it. Jeez. Here's a taste of our true power. This wave is going to crash right over you. Is he using round again? Water Pulse. Not very effective, no confusion, good stuff. And we miss Raisin Leaf! Oh my god, why? Come on, man! Land your Raisin Leaf! Jeez, Thwacky, come on now. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. And Chompers level 22. Okay. <gasps> And Chewtill's evolving! Hooray! Also, someone told me last episode I forgot to edit the layout for last episode, so I do apologize about that. Dreadnor! Hey! Yo! We finally got Dreadnor! Right TO! Good stuff, I like that. Oh yes. Wants to learn Rock Tomb. Oh yeah, because it's a water rock type. I forgot about that. It's um Basically, it is a uh, Teratuga. Very nice. All right. Rock Tomb it is. Nice. You've gotten strong, Sharpino. Seems I've got to train even harder from now on. Thanks for the revive. Next up is Nessa, the leader of the water gym. Right oh. Let's just get down on our bike all the way through here. Okay, oh, there's a glow there. I saw that. A genius feather. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a Gossifleur. Oh, Elder Goss, sorry, not Gossifleur. Gossifleur's the baby. Okay. Um, I see Spritzy, I see... Uh... Stuffles. Alright, um... Yeah, Dreadnought's here, let's go. I, I love it. Alright, so let's go ahead and swap over to 
Slash, because Slash is now the only Pokemon that's not level 99. Uh, 99. What the hell? Level 22. <laughs> Jesus. Getting my numbers mixed up here. Alright, we're taking on Pokemon Breeder Denis, who has a Cherubi. Alright, let's go for a Headbutt. I've got to reorder some of these moves, they're in, in very bad positions. Ooh, damn! I'll go ahead and use Seed Bomb, because I don't know what Seed Bomb's animation looks like. Potion! Ah! What's with everyone using freaking heal items now? What the hell? Oh my god, they look like giant coconuts. Jesus. Alright, let's go for a Snarl. Let's finish off with a Snarl. Down goes Shirubi. Bye bye, say bye bye. And T's level 23. Tina! Wants to send a. Was that a Woo Bat? Yeah, that's a Woo Bat. Alright, well you're about to cop a super serious Night Slash in your face! Good God! Down goes the Woobat. Lucky you stood a chance though. Lucky you stood a chance! Yatagarash is level 23. I'll accept that loss, but I'm not going to let it bother me that much. Well, good for you. Good for you. Because that would bother me. <laughs> Three X special attacks. Okay. We have a little boy over here. Hey, little boy. Oh, it's a chick. Whoops, sorry. Keep this to yourself, but I'm having Pokemon help with work. Oh, sorry, lady. Gabrielle. Okay, now that I'm seeing your personality up close. Oops, sorry, your personality. Your character sprite up close. Now I can see that, yes, you are, in fact, a girl. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go for a headbutt. <sighs> Kurgonk, <laughs> oh buddy. And Slash is level 22. You're a trainer who's stronger than me and the Pokemon that can do my work. Just do your own fucking work. Why the hell are you gonna get someone else to do your work? God damn it. Just be independent. Make your way across Route 5 to reach Holbury. Well, I think we are at Holbury, are we not? Yep, this is Holbury. We are here. Woohoo! We finally made it. <gasps> the elephant Pokemon! I want the elephant Pokemon. I want it on my team. It's a cute elephant. I want it. I want it. If I see an elephant in the wild area, I'm telling you guys, it's mine. I'm using I'm using that biatch. Alright. So, if I'm not... Well, let's just have a look here. So... Hey, jump the ear. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and put you up there. Because I can see there's a water type gym. Oh, hello, cutscene. Our sincerest apologies. The chairman is quite busy at the moment. Everyone, please disperse. Please leave now. Okay, see you later, chairman. Ugh. No need to rush off. I can still do more autographs. I'll even give you my Pokemon League card. Man, this, this, uh. We need the support of our fans to keep doing what we're doing. Chasing them off like that? Aren't you being a bit too harsh, Olena? Fans are very important, of course. That's why you need to keep doing your work, for their sake. Oh, by the way, Bede is a dude. I never got the notion of a dude. I thought that was a chick. What the fuck? I promise to do everything in my power to assist you too, Chairman. Oh, and you, uh, Bede, sir. That's right, Bead. I dare say I'm impressed how far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. Will you be the one to win the gym challenge? Or perhaps will be one of the trainers endorsed by the champion? I would prove your faith in me was well placed, Chairman. I won't lose to anyone. Ah, uh, bitch, you already lost to me. Anyway, I'll be on my way now. You, told you lost to me! You've already lost! Shut up! Ah, your name was Sharpino, right? We were just talking about you. I admit I'm curious about Leon's reasons for endorsing you. Ah, I just got a good idea as I tend to do. You're going to face gym leader Nessa soon, yes? If you get a gym badge from her, I'll hold a celebration. I'd like to get to know you a little bit better after all. Ah, uh, Chairman, we really should be going. Please do your best for the sake of Galar's future. Uh, this bitch is giving me some bad vibes over here. The Chairman will be heading to this town's seafood restaurant. 
Win the gym badge and join him there at once. Do not keep him waiting. Okay, so someone clearly has an attitude. Attitude. Alright, so we're going to heal up. And I think it's time to do this gym challenge. Because, uh, guys, gym challenge. It's here. Right here. Let's do it. I'm all about this gym challenges, guys. The more gym challenges we can complete, the more different Pokemon we can catch. Which means I can complete my Pokedex. And happy fucking days, people. Happy fucking days. Yeah, so, so far enjoying the game. I'm really loving the story behind it. I'm really enjoying it. I really do. I really do like the game. I don't know. I just think it's great. Okay, there's a lady sitting out here front. Uh, hello. You must be the gym challenger, right? If you're looking for the gym leader, Nessa, she's off at the lighthouse. The lighthouse is... Well, if you head toward the sea from here, you shouldn't be able to miss it. Okay, so I'm guessing it's over here. Because that seems to be the only other way we can go. And seeing as how this is like a pier... Oh, hold on a second. What's this over here? Maybe she's over here. Alright, there's a fishing spot right there. And we found five netballs. That's going to be pretty handy, actually. All these fishing spots right here. Let's see what we can actually find in one of these fishing spots here. I wonder if there's a Pokemon that we haven't caught yet. Let's see. Ooh, an Aracuda! We don't have an Aracuda! Level 22! God damn! Um, uh, okay. Uh, let's go for a low kick. Just to get some damage on it. That did jack shit! Oh my god. Okay, you definitely have my interest, Aracuda. I didn't even realize you can get Pokemon inside the um the main the main cities. I mean, hell, this would be interesting for Nuzlocke. That's for damn sure. Because I mean, like, um, you know, if you want to catch encounters, if they someone decides to randomize Sword and Shield, I guess you know. And Bangler's level twenty three. Let's go ahead and check out Aracuda. Aracuda, the Rush Pokemon. After it's eaten its fill, the movements become extremely sluggish. That's when Cramorant swallows it up. Ah, the fish. I'm uh, the the bird. I remember the, from the ads. The bird. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, Aracuda. Um, I can't recall. I believe you do have an evolution. But yo, Aracuda though, looking pretty spiffy. We have two super potions, and there's Nessa. Hey, hey, girl. What's shaking? Hey, I want to challenge you. Get back to your gym. You must be a gym challenger, right? How did you know? <laughs> You're one of the ones endorsed by Leon, right? You've become something of a hot topic among the gym leaders. Here you go, Mr. Famous. I already heard about you, so you should learn about me too. Hey, you got a lead card. Nice. Let's head to the stadium. I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more, and I'm itching for a battle with you. Mmm, well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like that gym battle will be happening today. Hooray! I do like the fact that we can do the gym battle. Let's go then. And we have this Pokeball dude. What Pokeball are you going to give me, my ball guy? A lure ball. Hey! Alright, I'm going to say, your head is very creepy. Okay, those movements with that head, no. Just stop. Are you ready to start the gym challenge? Let's do this! So I'm here for a gym challenge, bye bye! What a kind of gym mission that we're gonna have here for this gym leader over here. Ugh, let's see here. So last time we had Wooloo Herding for the grass type gym. What would we have for a water type gym though? <coughs> excuse me, excuse me! Oh wow, look at this! Okay, I can see where this is going. I see colored switches. I see water draining down from colored pipes. Okay, I can see where this is going. The Herbury Pokemon Gym's mission is this. A challenging maze, and you must reach the goal to clear the mission. However, some paths in the maze are blocked by water. What should you do? Try pressing the red button over there. I imagine you'll figure it out, future champ. Now let the gym mission begin. Okay, so and we're off! Welcome to Harbury Stadium! Ready to bask in the beauty of water type Pokemon? Okay, I'm getting a bit of a misty feeling from this here. Your outfit does kind of remind you of Misty, but hey, we're here now. 
in comes Thwacky, our Bangalow. Bangalow the Thwacky. Let's go ahead and hit him up with the Razor Leaf. Down goes the Tomb Pole. He got soaked. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Righto. Okay, I can kind of see where we're going with here. So, basically, you got to press the switches to change the water discretion amongst the water pipes. All right, so. Something tells me, wait, if I press this, what happens? Why not? I think we're going to block ourselves off here, but let's have a look. Yeah, we just blocked ourselves off. Okay. That's what I was looking at. I was like, wait, do I block myself off? Yeah, I probably would. Pressing a button stops the water, but you've got to think about the order too. Yes, yeah, so I kind of got that, but Heather, thank you very much for that handy dandy tip. Now we have a Krabby. Cookie, cookie, cookie. It's a Krabby. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit him up with a Razor Leaf. Pretty sure Krabby should survive at least one. Or not. Or not. Oh, we're going to crit. That's why. I was going to say, standard, we should, he should probably survive. Because Krabby and Kingler have a lot of base defense. So, you know. Next up is a Corefish. We'll stay in on that one. Corefish, fish! Yeah, I, I see, I see you. I see you. Down goes the Corefish. I gotta say, I love the themes in this game. Honestly, those people shooting on Storm Shield, I'll bet you any money you motherfuckers are playing this game right now. Like, I'll bet, I'll put my house on it, that all the people that say, oh, I hate Pokemon Shield and Sword and all this bullshit, you're the, blur. You're the motherfuckers that are playing this game right now. Not all of you, but I know some of you are. Because that's called being a hypocritical motherfucker before the game's come out. <sighs> Alright. Now we have these blue pipes. So there's a blue switch right there. What, you made this far and you want to battle me? Um, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, Remoraid is out here. Alright, hit you up with another Razor Leaf. But Down you go. Sorry, but Thwacky's just too powerful. Talk about literally thwacking the competition, if you will. Wants to send in a true tool. You know what? Let's go ahead and let someone else have some fun. Let's go ahead and let uh, Slash, because Slash does have that seed bomb. I feel like Slash is actually going to become one of the most powerful Pokemon in our team. Even though, it's, yes, it's a Zigzagoon, everyone's like. But um, I do know that when it evolves into Obstagoon, it should be pretty powerful. So let's go ahead, seed bomb. And it survives. Oh, yeah. You go for tackle, seriously, dude. And I went for another seed bomb when I went to try to go for a snarl. God damn it! Hopefully the seed bombs. I mean, we're going to use them anyways, but you know. What strength? No wonder you beat me, my Pokemon. Oh stop! Oh stop! You're just flattering me. Such flattery. All right, so now we're going to hit this um, switch over here. Now we can access the blue switch, which is what we need to do. Okay. Alright. So we can't go back to the red switch now. But we can't... Okay. Interesting. So if we hit this yellow switch, we're going to trap ourselves in here. So something tells me we have to go over here and find a red switch. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get... Okay. Interesting. So now this is the puzzling part. Hmm. So we can't access there quite yet. So maybe we have to hit the yellow switch before we hit the blue switch. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm, I have an idea. I have an idea. So let's hit this red switch. Okay. So now both these paths are clear. Now let's hit this yellow switch over here. So now that yellow path is cleared. Now we go back and we hit the red switch. And then we go back and hit the blue switch and that should be all. Yeah, that works out just fine. Whew. Well, I will say that did throw me a little bit. I was like, wait, huh? Like, wait, 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 wait. wait. Alright, now before we go any further, we've got to make sure that our Pokemon are healed up good to go. So let's go to our Porteons, our potions. Okay, so really the only Pokemon's really copped any damage to Slash here. And I think to get this gym battle started, let's get some Pokemon in order, okay? Let's go ahead and let's put Tina out front, because it's going to be a Grass-type gym. And we'll put Slash up the top here. Furnace, aha, uh -huh, buddy. I would love to use you, but I can't. You're rock and, rock, rock and fire. You'll get blown away by a Rock-type move, a uh, Water-type move. Hooray! Good morning! We beat the challenge. Yeah. Well, the mission, sorry. Not the challenge, the mission. The challenge comes when we beat the champion. And that is when the challenge is complete. Actually, when you beat your eight gym leaders, technically that's the gym challenge completed. Alright, so, ooh, look at this stadium, though. This is what I love about this game. All the people saying the graphics are shit, shut the fuck up. Okay, seriously. And if I see you in my Twitter, in my comment section, I'm telling you guys, you'll cop these hands. You will cop these hands. The hands of my hands on the keyboard, not my hands like I'll slap you. Welcome on a gym challenger. I think you already realized, but I'm Nessa. Sorry to have you made you look for me. I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty, yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. <laughs> oh, stop. No matter what kind of plan your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. Ooh, what a pun. I like it. Okay. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Nessa, gym leader number two is here. Goldie. Three Pokemon. Righto. Let's do this. Our speed goes for Water Pulse. So her Pokemon at the moment looks like they're just about the same level as me, which is good. Probably should have gone for Nuzzle to make sure we have speed. But nonetheless, we digress. Oh my god, we're confused. Don't. Tina! Tina! Come on! Oh my god, why? Again. Goddamn Golding though, seriously dude. Come on Tina, you got this. No! You ah! God damn it. First heal, Tina. Let's go. I'm liking the music, but I'm getting frustrated by the confusion hits, okay? Spark again. And this time, land a please, Tina. God damn it. Tina, come on. You've had a lot of time to be confused. Tina! Why? My god, we're getting owned by a Goldie. This is bullshit. This is embarrassing. Finally. Thank you. Tina. Fuck. <sighs> Frustration mounting. Aracuda. Let's go ahead and bring in Slash. Oh my god. <sighs> Out comes Aracuda, which is the Pokemon that we just caught. So you, you're just a pure water type, that much we do know. Let's go for a Sea Bomb. Aqua Jet. That was a crit. Oh, what is this? Malarkey! Stop! Ooh, nice. Alright. Now I'll go for Snarl. Aqua Jet again. Down goes the Aracuda. Righto. Right here, guys. Okay. And Bangor's level 24 wants to learn knockoff. 
actually, that would be a pretty good move to have. Base, uh, base 65? Hell yeah. And it's a dark type move too. So it could definitely be handy. Last Pokemon that she has is a Dreadnought. So now we're going to bring in Bangalore over here. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon, and I've been saving the best for last. Sends out Dreadnought. Max Overgrowth. Let's do this. Somehow when I hear the crowd, I feel like they're saying Dyna. Dyna Max. Dyna. Dyna. Dyna Max. <laughs> Dynamax! Like, if you can turn to a song, that's what you could probably do. <laughs> Flood the steam and make it our ocean. Dreadnought! Time to. to. uh. Dynamax! There's a big pair of jaws. Good lord. Would not want to be caught between those chompers. Max Overgrowth. Ooh, Oko! Let's go! Well, this quad week of grass, I mean, it's no, it's no mistake. Ooh, yeah, team's level 24. Slash wants to learn rest. No, you're not going to learn rest. And team's 24, Chopper's 23. And Yadagarasu's 24. I'll maybe proudly be the strongest member of this gym, but I was totally washed away. You gotta love all these puns. How, how could this be? Now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in the gym challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may even be strong enough to challenge the champion. Wow, that is quite the compliment. Thanks, Nessa. You and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of this gym badge. You can now catch Pokemon to level 30. You'll want to challenge the fire gym leader next. As you and your Pokemon are now, he'll definitely want to battle you. So the next is Fire. Okay. Sharpino, my sincere congratulations for your victory over Gym Leader Nessa. Please take this commemorative TM. Whirlpool? God damn, that's a shit TM. Take this too. It's a replica of Nessa's uniform. Okay. Now that you've won the Water Badge, I'll be watching to see just how far you and your Pokemon can go. Uh, thanks, buddy. Uh, cheers. I appreciate it. Oh, hello. Do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. So you will not forget the chairman's face. I'll give you one of his league cards. How the hell would I forget the chairman? Chairman Rose is the kind of man who gets downhearted if he doesn't take care of things he needs to right away. Go to the seafood restaurant as soon as possible, so as to not keep the chairman waiting. Oh, you're just a real piece of work, aren't you? Righto, guys. Well, I believe that is going to be... A wrap for today's episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. I certainly did. If you did, make sure to like button down below because as always, just a plus great appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Shield and Sword Let's Play. As we go ahead, catch some more Pokemon, and now we have Gym Challenge number three on the horizon. So guys, until the next time I see you guys in the next video, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!